Hi all, welcome to another Banter Blitz at Chess24 with me, King's Crusher. Uh, let me just show you the uh, discount code stream uh, stream uh, screen. So if you want a f whopping 15% off to go premium, uh, the voucher code King's Crusher, and you can not only challenge me and other streamers, uh, you just come along 20 to 30 minutes beforehand and send your challenge off, and it'll be on our challenge list, so we'll work through them. Um, and um, but you, all the other premium features as well, so 15% off there. So, on that note, let's go to the challenge screen now. Please let me know if audio and visual is okay. I hope it is. And it's approaching that time 11 30 a.m. UK time here. So, uh, let's go to the challenge list. Boshev Chess Lab, hi there. E4, I'll dare play E4. Breyer, White's Game in its Last Froze. <laughs> I looked that up the other day. There's a Chess Cafe article about that. Oh, okay. I don't want to play D4 all of a sudden. <laughs> he seemed too comfortable with Knight C6. I, I'm going to bore him now. He seemed too comfortable with that Knight C6. Um, Sophie and Chateau here. Keeping my pieces behind the pawns for a bit longer. Actually, maybe knight takes would have knocked out a centre pawn there because of the d4 uh, fork. Uh, I'll keep the central tension. I don't know about d5. Might give him a favourable king's engine. If I wait for f5, there's d takes or e takes. Uh, maybe e takes. I'm hoping D takes is something. Although I don't like the dynamic pressure, the diagonal and the file. Actually, maybe D5 has got something going for it. I mean, D takes. Oh, there is no G3. Ouch. Uh, there's no takes G3. Is that how dangerous is that? How dangerous is that? Maybe he's rookie one. Uh, let's calculate. Yeah, I thought he had some pressure on the position. <laughs> it's not nice to see that sort of move <laughs> against my king, taking a chunk out of my king. This bishop is lurking there. Can I neutralize that bishop soon with bishop e3? But he has taken that chunk out of the king. My knight's kind of pinned. Hmm. If takes, then there's bishop f2. Maybe bishop e3, knight takes. Bishop takes, I'll be on fg at least. So knight takes bishop e3 just to unpin my f pawn. Knight takes, bishop takes. I'm fretting the knight. Knight goes back. Okay, some scary stuff. Uh, let's look at it again. Yeah, I don't think I can do that. Rook e5. Check this out. Queen d8, rook d8, still pinned. Probably best bet is bishop e3. Ah, oh, I think best bet here, bishop e3. This bishop's like a really good attacking piece. That creates now a threat. F takes. He plays knight f5. Knight f5. I can throw in a check and then move the rook. Is there any advantage to do that? Doing that, probably not. Maybe just rook back for a moment. All right, at least some of the sting's been taken out, but this chip out of my king side is not pleasant. Queen d5, check. I can't see the advantage of that. Um. Oh, have I got this on mute? Sorry, let's look at the preview. Uh Oh, 
Oh, well, maybe now check bishop e6, ed, bishop takes, pawn takes. Yeah, I can get through with ed. Hang on. Uh, oh, e6. Let's see. Okay, takes and ed's on the bishop. Hold on. Was that a slip up? I'm on the bishop here. Maybe he didn't want to face e6 there. If he had moved with his king, uh, maybe I'm back in the game here. But take another pawn. Greed. I uh, can't see an immediate punishment taking another pawn. Right. So knight d2 stabilizes f3. Take this file. Try and neutralize this bishop, maybe. I wonder if knight d4 gives me a peg for e5 if he took. I know it's a nice laid pawn, and this is better. Knight g5. So if takes knight takes f7. Maybe knight g5. Rook f5. Rook f5. Bishop d5 check. Rook takes d5. Knight e6 maybe. I'm holding the g5 square for a moment. Maybe just knight f3 here. This is a bit of a tactical issue sometimes, I guess. Can the knights hold on to each other for comfort? Oh, I'm going to take on e8 here. Check. Knight takes. Now there's rook g5. Check. King moves, then he takes. So I'll do this. Well, the knight's hanging. I can pre move for a cafe. Oh, okay, time pressure. Let's have a quick look. I think uh, that was very promising. A uh, very, very promising position. Let's have a quick look. Surely that was very dangerous for me. Yeah, Black, Black's winning there after D takes. I had to play apparently Knight G5 or Bishop G5. So the same here, and then G4. Yeah, this Knight G3, I missed that. So this opportunity was this golden opportunity was taken. Uh, and didn't it? Did I thought we shared a YouTube song about taking some shots, taking the shot. <laughs> you know, you did take the shot. It's a follow up here. Um, all right. So knight takes e five is the way to play it. Oh yeah, because of that pin pressure. And if bishop e three, knight takes. Bishop takes, bishop takes, rook takes, knight f5. It seems to indicate plus two here. Check. 
this is looking nasty it can we can follow this quite a bit it's looking a bit nasty but yeah that that was better for black shaky okay well played um I'll try this kind of setup again though glutton for punishment maybe f4 here though ah no maybe <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. G three. G three. Thinking, you know, Vienna game. I have played a bit, but sometimes I find the Vienna game a bit shaky. Ah, oh, this quick D five is annoying, isn't it? Um yeah, a bit of a fun killer. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. If I if I just take for a moment then. Maybe D four here. Maybe. Where am I gonna get blasted my king in the centre? Oh, I I don't know. Uh, I could be getting steamrollers. D four ninety four takes takes takes. I'm getting steamrollers. Oh, this is not a good idea, is it? Can I improve on that? Yeah, I was thinking. Okay, D four. Given the chance, second chance. Maybe I should have gone with D four there. I didn't realize how dangerous that was. I think that was very dangerous. The steamroller. I just wanted to have my king tucked away, but yeah, I think that was quite forcing to swap the center. Here I think if I can play bishop g5, there's pressure on d5, like rook ad1. I suppose c2 is a bit of a liability. Not at the moment, I can take that knight. Um, All right, I'll go here. Can I get a chance to play rook a d1? Because then my pieces seem to make more sense. <clears throat> rook a d1. I think my pieces uh, are interesting on d5 there. Oh, well, I can take on c3 here with my bishop. This looks extremely dangerous. Knight e4, threatening knight f6. Uh, and then say queen e5, queen h7. Is it worth calculating here or just to play knight f6? Knight f6. They have king h8, queen h7. They have king g7, queen h7, king f6. It might actually be stronger to play rook a e one with the threat of knight f six. If f five knight f six and then win the queen, queen f five knight f six. Yeah, I might. This might be stronger because that's a liability. Knight f six. It's a liability. Knight queen h seven pingy. I think the threat might be stronger than the execution. It actually keeps one less liability with still f six uh, as a possibility. So the queen is asked to go away. Um, now say f5, knight f6, king g7, queen h7, king f6. Mm, or there might even be g4 there. g4 here. Uh, or am I going a bit silly on this now uh, yeah. yeah let's go G4 now there's a uh, Queen G6 Knight F6 
Now if king h8 there's bishop e4, if king g7 there's knight h5, if king h8 again there's bishop. Well there might be bishop e4 now. Knight f6, king g7, queen h7, king f6. Okay, I think this is four king, king, and queen. Nice h5 check. King g7, there's knight h5 check. King h8, there's queen h7. Naughty knight. Okay, thanks for the game, uh, folks. That was uh, fun. Okay. Um, Oh, but no, 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 you had your moment. Let's have a look at your moment of opportunity. I think you have a big moment of opportunity. Uh, yeah, d5. Now I took here and then castled. I thought d4 was strong. The engine likes d4 as well, because what do I do? If I play knight e4, as mentioned, I think you just take here and then take here. So if I haven't got knight e4 to put the brakes on the center, this looks scary. If I'm forced to play this, which I was checking out very briefly, but if I play this, I can just imagine, yeah, look at this, bang. And my bishop on c1 is killed. So there was a chance there to really damage, do some damage. So I think I had to play d4. I just was a bit scared about this with my king in the center. Like check. Although there's no knight g4, I thought there's things like queen b6. But maybe that's okay. Okay, this pawn might be poisoned. That's the thing. If this pawn's poisoned, probably is. Maybe knight a4 as well is is reasonable. That that's equal. Apparently knight b5, knight db5. Okay, that's interesting. Trying to trap the queen with rook b1. So it takes. I guess I try and trap the queen with rook b1. Queen's trapped there, but you don't have to go in for queen b6. But that was just an example of trying to exploit this maybe this is the way I should have played it I didn't put the brakes on the center there was a there was a clear blunder there I believe by me because I because I I didn't put the brakes on the center does everyone see that this d4 looks really good everyone agree if I have to play knight a4 then this doesn't look very good knight on the rim is dim as they say I mean b5 is coming up what do I do this is starting to look a bit silly this oh, okay bishop a8 there okay maybe not that but you see what I mean it's not it's not very nice is it so I think that was your moment of opportunity okay graph hi graph um, can I try and play King's Indian oh, I'm getting slaughtered. Ethereal wants to play b6 instead of this lovely banner to attack system. Uh, <laughs> this is really trendy. I just did a video today. It's really overtaken a knight e1 for the most mainline move. The bayonet attack has become the main line. <clears throat> Try and put some breaks on the queen side pressure. I'll tr this the only slight downside is here you know knight f4 might be celebrating the diagonal some loose pieces on the diagonal so knight f4 might be celebrating the diagonal a bit I can get to play knight f4 I think and then g5 maybe I can start to go crazy with a knight sack I've uh, this would be interesting if I can keep the brakes on e5 this could be a practical knight sack oh oh opening up the king's engine bishop Giving me a bishop without a counterpart. What's going on here? Is it the idea e5? Is that the naughty idea? So knight g6 e5, and I don't get to play with my e5 square. That's just very naughty. <coughs> and I've just noticed g5 e5, bishop f5, there's bishop d3. So I can't even play bishop f5 that easily. If I move my king back, there's probably e5, unless there's g4. So uh, I could test this. I could test this. My dark squares are a bit of a safe haven for the king because there's no dark square bishop. In theory, uh, the dark squares are a bit safer in theory. Well, especially with the queen pointing at my king, basically. 
So I'm wondering if I can get a lock on the e5 square or not. So anything like knight g6, g4, and try and lock down e5 here would, would be uh, positionally uh, very nice. But I suspect e5 might be played here to try and ruin my dreams, my hopes and dreams for the position. But I, I'm wondering, okay, g4, e, d, c, d. Uh, okay, c file could be interesting if I get rook on c8 to x-ray that queen or pin that knight to the queen. Ah, I'm, I'm happy. Hold on. I'm happy. I've just seen something. E5, bishop f5, there was bishop d3, rook c8, bishop f5, rook c3. No, no time to look into that too deep. Now I'll just get this lock on e5, g4, knight e5 lock on the e5 square. So g4, knight moves, knight e5. That looks like a juicy position to me. g4 and the knight e5 looks like a juicy position. <sighs> No knight h4, so knight e5. Okay, still looks juicy. Form pawn on f3. T h r n. Form pawn, f3. Form pawn. <laughs> uh, okay, do I do the form pawn? I I think Leela's saying that the form pawn's pretty good in general, even against Stockfish Nine. So form pawn, here we come. Form pawn, unless it's eliminated tactically. In which case there'll be no form pawn. There'll just be the ghost of the form pawn. Okay. But no form pawn attack. Form pawn installed. G3. There would, there would definitely be a form pawn there after G3. The knight on e5 seems to justify the form pawn. The form pawn springs from the advantages of the position. Flows naturally. The form pawn flows naturally here. Okay, it's been installed. What to do with it? h5 h4 that gives bishop h6 that might be a good idea bishop h6 uh, my, no 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 my bishop needed for e5 control and now bishop d7 knight d6 ah oh. okay i can feel the pressure i can feel the pressure ouch <laughs> what about f5 f ah uh, 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 i don't know i don't know i don't know Hang on, hang on. So d6, oh, okay. My lovely knight, gone. I can't have everything. Uh, at least this d6 isn't such an issue here. Ef, bishop f5, bishop d3, queen g5, bishop f5, rook f5. Uh, is there something about that position? There is rook c8 to consider. Bishop f5, rook c3, queen e4. Maybe not a big deal. I, I can play queen g5 here. And if rook, uh, bishop f5, rook f5, knight e4, queen g6. Um, or do I play rook c8 here? Ah, so bishop f5, rook c3, queen e4. There's nothing spectacular there, I guess. Is there is the bishop trapped? Queen uh, g5, bishop e6. Let's go with this. Now knight e4, queen g6, I think. Kind of pinning the knight to d3. So knight e4, queen g6. I guess I want to double the rooks, the the rooks, uh, to have things more safeguarded. Oh, my queen side has been demolished. Is that? Do I want to double the rooks? <sighs> I think so. H four, H G, Bishop G three, F two, Knight F two. Rook f2, queen g6, rook g2, king h1. I think h4 is a good attacking idea. Knight g5, rook g5, trying to distract my queen away from h7. d6 is held at the moment. Okay, hg. Form pawn attack. Form 
form pawn on f3. Bishop g3 does knight g3. How's this ending? Queen g7, trying, trying to relieve the pressure. It might persist into some sort of endgame advantage. King's kind of restricted. Do I take with the queen? I think I take with the rook. Right, I'll take the C file. Right. Rook c2, bishop d4. Okay, if I do this. Okay, the knight's just hanging. Oh, we did get a form pawn game. I've been winning some key form pawn games recently. Okay, thanks for the game. That was um, very, very interesting, very interesting encounter. Mechanic. Um, yeah, e5. As though I've got a preference for a dark square strategy. Trying to control dark squares. Okay, now ah, it's intriguing. Okay, it's intriguing. I don't know. Can't play e4. E D is not ideal. Oh, I have to do something though. It's not ideal. Unusual opening territory. When improvising, try and stick with basic principles at least. Try and find downsides at least, even when improvising. Okay, so d5, knight c6, b takes, e4 might be good. Knight e4 is almost a tactic for bishop g5, but there's knight takes protecting the bishop. And there's also bishop e7, it's not really a tactic. d5, is that a pawn liability or not? D5 looks tempting. Ah, I'm going with D5. I could strengthen my pawn so you can blast them with E4. Okay, the king's on there. On B1. Right. If I try to win this dark square bishop, oh, there's knight H7 if the bishop sack. That should hold. If bishop h4, g5 maybe, uh, it might have a perpetual. I wonder if bishop e6 is useful. I was thinking about this pin, bishop b4 pin for knight e4 later. But any g5 he would take, check, king moves. Then it might at least be a perpetual check. Or is there a check, knight h7? Okay, this does allow bishop b4, uh, bishop h6, then I've got knight e4. The bishop b4 seems strong for knight e4. There's f3, 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 plays f3. Or not. Takes knight e4, hitting the queen, hitting f2, queen f3, or queen e3, or... Queen F3. What about just rookie eight? That looks like a a move. Rookie eight had to add some pressure to the E file. Lock down E4 a bit more. Lock down the E4 square a bit more. Is it just pretty or is it functional? Rookie eight. The rook wasn't doing anything on F8. C7 attacked. Okay, I can protect. Try and kick this. Yeah, ninety five. 
Mm. Winning a pawn. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, let's keep the queens on. Maybe bishop e6 with a bit of compensation. Rook d8 is immediately threatened with this back row connection issues. Rook d8 looks threatened. Bishop e6, I was considering though, but now rook d8 as well. He has to get out of rook d8 somehow. How does he get out of rook d8? Alright, there's bishop e6, which looks nice. Maybe he's not sort of bishop e6. Maybe I should unpin. Okay, another pawn could drop, but it's a C file behind that. Also, I thought, <laughs> is there a C file compensation or not? Oh, there's knight d6 as well coming. Um, well, takes queen takes or knight takes wins the exchange, I guess. Rook c8, bishop takes, then knight d6 wins the exchange, or does it rook d8 pins? All right, so probably knight before looks a bit dangerous. Bishop takes, bishop a2, king a1. Don't think there's any compensation. b6, that looks weird to play b6. It's a bit mostly pointless. Bishop b4 is another. Maybe just waiting around move stops knight d6 being that dangerous. A3, bishop c5, bishop d6, bishop d6, knight d6, rook pins. Okay, 1 minute 24. Okay, I've got to speed up here. Bishop moves, there'll be knight c7 threatened. Rook c8, some compensation. Bishop f5 to try and celebrate c2. So rook c8 and bishop f5. Knight takes rook c2 for queen b2. So it doesn't matter about knight d6, rook takes c2 there. Okay, if I played this for a moment. Well, there is bishop a2 check. Knight d6, bishop takes a2. Okay, better speed up. There's knight c2, isn't there? Maybe. Ah, oh, king takes a2. Okay. Um. There's a chip taken out of his king. Queen d8 for queen a5. Queen d8, there's no check at the moment. Queen d6, knight c6. I'll just drop the knight, haven't I? <laughs> drop the knight. Mm. 
make for it. <clears throat> attack with pawns, or is it going to be eliminated? I'm hoping I get an attack with pawns here, last ditch attack. Queen c5, okay, how do I get rook b8, a4? He's got to speed up. Pre move time. A4 looks dangerous. B3 coming up. Take over here for queen f2. Something's gone wrong there. Okay, something went wrong there. Okay, that went wild. That went crazy. Let's go back. I think needed to somehow stabilize the position. Uh, well, in blitz, that's not hard, but just want a piece here. Okay, so Queen F4 is like one of the strongest moves. Double attacking. Yep, that's a great move. So. I had to play queen e7 to avoid losing a piece. And just c3. Queen e4 threatens mate. So clearly plus two. So I made it worse. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, okay, I blundered the piece. But how to stabilize so quickly? B3 would be a good stabilizing move. Because I think b3 there's no commitment of the pieces after the way the way it was played there's a bit of a a sort of uh responsibility of the pieces here i think b3 extinguishes everything it is also the top engine move but okay so this i'm still making some frets um okay there's a bit of a shield taking on b4 might be the safest thing to do because i haven't got both rooks so that would clear out any attacking potential. And running with the king is probably a bad idea here. This starts to look, although it's plus whatever, it looks scary to play this with 20 seconds with the king there. Although I'm a rook down. Uh, but it is looking as though there's some tricks. So black's winning after king e2. When the position is made more difficult to play in blitz, that's often worth material. So to make it easier to play, actually, paradoxically, I think taking off this pawn would make it a slightly easier to play the position. Yeah, I, th I think I came back. I mean, it starts to be really dangerous the way it was played. If the king's out and about when you've got like 20 seconds, it's easy to slip up. So here, just protecting that pawn, though. Yeah, and then you've got the G file. So anytime I play B3, you've got Queen C3. So as you... This should be a good attack for you, ideally. King goes back. Anytime I play b3, you've got, you know, rook g1, queen c3. Yeah. Pointing at my king here. Okay, but it gets a little bit tricky in the time pressure. All right, thanks. Uh, Mew two? Mew two. So you're all getting great opportunities to crush me, I have to say. <laughs> this is why I'm not a grandmaster on I am. <laughs> you see, you've got these golden opportunities. Uh you know. <laughs> you're gonna get me one day, and some of you do, yeah. Put I mean on the boards in the in the time constraints. Uh it's just good it isn't increment blitz, is it? because uh, otherwise, yeah. <laughs> uh There'd be no chance to come back. Uh well less chance to come back. Okay. Okay, this looks like a fairly standard plan to play. Ninety eight to C seven in in some respects. <clears throat> White's play is very solid. King's engine attack setup. That looks logical as well.
Okay, so uh, what's happening here? Can I lock down F4? Uh, G5, can I lock down F4? Or am I going to be in big trouble? I hope not. Uh, there's a concession here on the light squares in theory. If we could get a knight round to F5, like knight F1 to E3 to F5. At the moment, no G4, yeah, that's not possible, is it? That positional plan. But in theory, that sort of positional plan to get a knight round to F5. Um, all right, okay. Can I take? Oh, there's knight takes here, queen takes. Maybe, maybe that position's okay. Um, bishop, uh, try it. Queen takes, bishop takes, bishop takes. Um, right, the bishop on f3 seems to be uh, hanging. I mean, the knight on f3 seems to be hanging. Um, I, I do have a little story of my last uh, uh, my, my, my last few day events. I managed to draw a grandmaster for the first time ever, Peter Wells. I drew an IM comfortably with black, and I lose later to an 1800 from um, Japan. So I was really depressed. I lost a ton of rating points on that one day. And this 1800 had beaten an IM. I think it was from Japan. He'd beaten an IM in an earlier round and was having a 2300 plus performance. So it's not that easy nowadays. I don't know. There's some disconnected countries from from FIDE. You go in, you can't really trust the ratings that much when you've got some countries that don't they're really strong players brewing up with really low FIDE ratings. So it's not just juniors. So even though I might have played well overall in my last FIDE event, I ended up losing some some more points. So yeah, sometimes it's not that much fun. <laughs> but I remember sort of being really annoyed that day because um, it was also like banging the pieces down during the game. This eighteen hundred player, um, so I was having a good tournament until then. So to go up from I don't know I I I I, I could give it a go because uh, I had other responsibilities, but I I'm I'm tempted to play uh, in one or two uh, FIDE events. But the last experience it wasn't it was sort of ruined by that. Lost to this, yeah, uh, uh, to the eighteen hundred. I was really annoyed on on the fee day scale. It's just like, okay. So anyway, there's my little story. Okay, let's get back to this game. So the opponent seems to be disconnecting every every moment. Uh, he's got internet problems. Bad internet. Uh, uh, All right, knight takes his check. Put the knight back. So queen h5 and rook f8. Okay, so I think Queen H five here. All right, funny. I'll take this. Right, it's chatmate, I think. Right, thanks to the game, you too. It was a very solid start in the opening. Uh very 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 good in the opening especially. Hey, we're running out of challenges here. If if you want to challenge, we're running out of challenges here. Any, all challenges welcome, otherwise <laughs> it's gonna be a short show. Yeah. There's okay, get your challenges in. Get your challenges in. Challenge is all welcome. Come and crush me. 
Come on. Okay. There's a Snyder variation, isn't there, in the Sicilian Defence? It's the early B3, I think, is the Snyder variation. E4, C5, B3, Snyder variation. I believe. Someone might correct me there. Yep, repeat challenges welcome as well. <laughs> um, it seems a bit of a dark, cold day today compared to previous. Uh, yeah, the heat wave is finished, isn't it? Uh, whatever. Um, so uh, back to uh, miserable weather, I think. Uh, although the heat wave wasn't so pleasant around the world, uh, yeah, all the problems it caused. Uh, no, there might be bishop e3 and bishop b6. So, what do I want to do about that? What do I want to do? Uh, it's not entirely pleasant, is it? I can put my queen on b8, then maybe h6 and f5. <sighs> for knight c4, huh? Alright, so this knight b6 is nasty. Could win my light square bishop. This would take the sting out of any attack, losing this light square bishop. But I haven't got many squares for that bishop anyway. Nor have I got knight c7 because of knight takes d6. Ah, oh, say goodbye to the light square bishop. I wonder if f5 is... Uh, is worth playing or not anymore without that bishop? I'm getting positionally done over. F5, I'm just walking into nasties with the light square bishop. If I open up at the position a little bit, it could be very favorable for that light square bishop. Bishop b5 sacking a pawn. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, here goes. <clears throat> F4. There might never any be any uh, any issue. Oh, crikey. Okay, maybe F4, F3. Is something a form pawn? Form pawn, form pawn alert, form pawn alert, F3, F3, form pawn alert, temporary form pawn anyway. Uh, is it any, is it futile? If he plays g3, I think it's a futile form pawn. If I take cash out the form pawn, I'm afraid, I might have to cash it out. Because I'm wondering, g3, and there's nothing. It's a knight f4. I think there's something going for this because of the fragmented pawn. So I've cashed out my form pawn, which is sacrilege, I know, but it's 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 um it's fragmented pawns a little bit here. Okay, so try and prepare this G file use bishop f8 rook g7. Uh, 
I was going to have rooksy eight. If I'm not careful, chat mating my queen. Winning material. I've got to get out of rooksy eight. Whoa. There might be knight c8. Rook c8 is pretty dangerous. I think I've got to get my pieces off the back row. They're a bit like liabilities. Um, yeah, they're kind of liabilities, aren't they? Takes and then g4. Or already, it looks as though my pieces are in trouble. Oh, there's rook, <laughs> there's rook eight eight. Uh, if nothing else, oh crikey! Uh, there's knight f six, maybe to rook eight eight. If I take that, if the bishop moves the knight h3, queen here. Ah, oh. oh, my queen's kind of checkmated over here. This is a bit grim. Queen hasn't got any square. <laughs> no queen b8. No queen a8. No queen a6. The queen's kind of checkmated. Oh, isn't that amusing? Okay. Um, queen h8. Oh, no. Still haven't got any squares. I'm gonna end up losing the rook if I'm not careful. Maybe knight g6 stops queen h8. Maybe. I want I want Queen B eight at least. Can you not give my Queen one square? This is so so mean. This is just mean. <laughs> Can I have one square <laughs> for the Queen? Knight F four. He's got Bishop D three. Ah. Oh, this is so mean. Oh, this is just <laughs> this, this is just so meanness. Oh, this is just meanness. Uh, how did this happen? I, I think this is a disaster. Yeah. Disaster. <clears throat> uh, is there a storm trick? <laughs> Otherwise, yeah. Oh, that was just mean. That was so mean. I I think. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well played. <laughs> I was positionally murdered. I was tactically murdered. Okay. Well played. Uh. <clears throat> okay, I'll play C four here. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, G G G six or E six. E six maybe maybe. Uh. <clears throat> so 
So B5, A5, Knight B6. <laughs> this might be okay with Knight A4. So uh, let's see, knight a4 coming up. Okay, I'll try and take away that g5 square. Okay, if he wants to take Maybe I can put my king over here, run with my king over here, uh, or g5. I don't know if g5, h5 is, is interesting as well. Maybe my king should be on, C, or, or on the queen side first anyway. If I'm, if I'm thinking of g5 in the future, or I could play g5 now and then uh, and then castle. I'm hoping it's okay to do this. Right. Is this G file any good? Ah, uh, F7 could be an issue. Takes takes rook f seven. Um, and this is something going on there. Uh, queen b six could be a nice tactical thing on e five. This pin pawn, but he could just move his king. He just moves his king. B three does knight. There's not knight takes c three. That could be dangerous as well. Maybe I do do this. I try to open up this G file or H file. One of them. Bishop takes Bishop G5. Queen H6. Well, maybe that pawn is a road to the king. Um, Bishop G5 coming up, maybe. Do I get a road to the king? Some sort of road. Now the light squares are controlled quite well. So uh, rook, uh, rook h6, rook h8. Oh, okay. Can I get a knight into f5 though? So knight f6, knight f5. Or there might be bishop c2 coming up. Uh, bishop c2. Could be dangerous. Or bishop g4. That's <laughs> h4 to g6. That's not very convincing. Okay, it's a target there though, so I, I got to get it out of the way. M maybe this is uh, just temporary location. Knight H4, provoke G3, provoke that weakness. Maybe that's not going to happen, but maybe. Okay, the knight on F6. Uh, can I lock down over here with A4 before doing anything else to get this knight back into over there, over there? So A4. Would you let me play A4? Lock down the strategic or well, the tactical break B3, but it's going to be stopped. Yep. That's a bit scary now. Oh, as knight takes like almost for e6 check. Um <sighs> maybe taking and then a4. Oh, this knight on f6 is a real pain. 
Uh, queen a8 <laughs> comes to mind. Maybe I'm on g2 here. I'm taking on g2. Right, I'll take here. I need knight c4. I'm opening up for g2. Well, there might be knight d5 here for e6. Check. No, knight d5, queen d5. That's another point. <clears throat> Uh, right, I'll try and open up the queen. There's b6, king d8. Open up the queen to g2. Well, that knight was a real pain in the position. Um, right. So just g4 maybe here, rook a4, queen b7, you could double the rooks. I can slow that down. So I want to play g4 and rook g, uh, not this one, uh, actually f7 drops. Okay, let's rethink that. G g4 roundabout here, and let's take some e6, g4 roundabout here. Right. Opens up the queen. Um, queen's off. Always rook a8. I don't mind the blockade. A couple of pawns, double pawns over there. Pass pawn potential. There's no knight c3. Knight f4 threatens knight e2 mate. Knight c3, uh, same sort of thing, more subtle maybe. Or knight f4. Knight c3. Knight two mate friend. Rookie one a two. Rook a two. Rook c one after rook a eight. So it takes on c three, a one. But he's got all the connected past pawns. Oh, I didn't see that one. Oh, there's only 15 seconds here to finish me off. Um, it's going to be it's going to be naughty. I'm afraid. It, I don't think you can just win this in seven seconds, even with everything going on there. Well played, um, crushing. Yeah, it was. I was trying to get a bit of counterplay, but not, I thought the knight could have been kept maybe on f6. That was real torture that knight on f6. Hmm. approach but this bishop as seen in previous game can pin this pawn very usefully uh, so king h2 and f4 f5 oh very dangerous for me now I'm scared <laughs> uh, what have I walked into I'm the one that should be doing this hack attack what have I walked into I have the horrible double pawns. I just want to take the sting out of the attack. H4, G4, there's going to be a knight sack, isn't there? Or something. I I just, I'd rather have double pawns and my king still around. So that's a trade off. The F file is also a bonus. Uh, where would his king go? Knight D5, I could heal my pawn structure later on, taking a little bit. Okay, that's not been saying. Okay, interesting. 
is queen d4 useful? I'm just prompting the rooks go back. F4, H4, G4, Bishop takes, H takes, Knight takes. I think F4 is playable. There's another way around this. H4, F5, Knight E5, G4. There's a Knight sack after. Queen coming in to H4. Okay, so queen d3 looks a central sort of move connecting the rooks. So I'll do that for a moment. Maybe actually knight d4 to f5 is, is something to go on here. Knight f5. Or even uh, h4, knight g4 is a bit of a concession to play h4. What about knight f5? <clears throat> Support the center. Okay, now intriguing. Possibly knight d five. And it's tactically supported. I'm holding that knight. I'm just wondering if I can swing a knight back for knight c6 later. Yeah, maybe this this is interesting. Knight d5. Maybe, maybe the queen's actually justified. They're holding the knight on f5. So knight takes e takes is possible without losing the knight, which means that knight d4 to c6 later after that is possible. Now, if I have a pawn on c6 or knight, knight c6 coming up, I think knight c6 coming up is uh, is interesting. Now, is that pawn worth anything? I could play h4 without any knight coming to g4. This could be a target, outline target. Queen g4, king h2. All right, it seems as though that might be more pro than con. This, more pro than con, king h2, bishop h3, support. Maybe rook e4 here. Try and keep that central file pressure. Uh, also, queen e3 is possible behind this rook. Let's see, is that pawn worth anything or is it just a liability? Also, a6 would be hanging. If if overtaking, a6 is slightly loose. You may have to waste time with that. <laughs> yeah, I just noticed that. That's <laughs> Jack takes that. <laughs> he's he's stolen the pawn theft. <laughs> that was that was so naughty. That was so naughty. He stole my pawn. <laughs> so naughty. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was just so cheeky. Um, I was looking forward to some useful pawn, not losing it like that. How naughty, how dare he? Okay, this has to be punished. <laughs> I still control the file. No panic. I still control the file now. H5 is still a liability. <laughs> Is it enough to control the file here for this ending? Okay, I'm going to welcome this ending. Controlling the file. Uh, 
Uh, there's a check. And maybe there's bishop f3 trying to get my pawn back cheekily. Uh, there's a king h6. If I want to get a pawn back, maybe I'll start with bishop f3, not encourage king h7 to h6. If I start with bishop f3, just to get my pawn back. <laughs> I want to guarantee getting this pawn back. Not letting this king, not encouraging this king to do something active like Steinitz King fighting peace. Uh, no, thank you. Okay, Let's keep the bishop. Aha, uh -huh. well, I can nudge the knight just before this rookie seven happens. I'll nudge the knight now. Rookie seven HG because my bishop's protecting the rook. So knight e7, now we're talking, now we're talking. There's no rook e7. So bishop d5, now we're talking rook e7, rook on the 7th. Knight c5, rook c7. Bishop c6, let's try and win a pawn. As okay, I can win a pawn surgically. Win a pawn a knight f four. Okay, this is the immortal pawn grabbing game. Okay, pawns have been grabbed. Uh Rook A six, Rook A five, that's King H four, King G three instead. Rook E three. Rook a6. I think I have to do this. Preference. Rook a5. Try and win the knight. Kick the king back. King f4. No, no, king, I don't want to get maintain that. King f2. Bishop e4 to stop. Rook c2. Okay, try and <sighs> try and win this d6 pawn then. Oh, the, the thing was hanging anyway. It was hanging. Still matrix. Okay, okay, thanks, mechanic. Um All right, super we go. Oh. What's happening to his avatar as well? It's a bit dark, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to have to abort this. I think this game's dying. Next challenge. Brother Power. Two thousand and two. I'll try G six here. I think maybe Bishop G four, maybe uh, D four seems a bit vulnerable. He could double my pawns. I thought it was going to double my pawns. This allows Knight D four. If queen takes there, knight takes after on b5. Queen takes, knight takes. I seem to have nicked a pawn myself in this game. There's another pawn to nick with bishop e5. 
Is that super greed or is it justified? It might actually be justified. I can't see a problem with that. Rookie one, bishop g7. I will play c6 just to hold d5 a bit more. Put the bishop back. Maybe queen h4 is actually a luxury option here. Queen h4. I'm sort of leaning in king side. Rookie eight is also an option. That bishop's cut from e8 at the moment. So rookie eight. Rookie eight. Or b5 to stop a naughtiness over here with b5. So rookie eight after. Right. How to exert a bit more pressure. Any slight tactical downsides, any downsides at all, tactical, otherwise, Queen G5. There's a vague Knight F3 idea. Uh, rookie 6, I could have F file pressure instead. Otherwise, I'm doubling the rooks. Rookie 6 takes, takes. Uh, backward E pawn, not so much of a problem. Rook F8 hits F2. Maybe this is the way to go. So rook f8 to follow for queen f2 justifies the queen on h4. Rook e6 f takes. It's protected by the knight anyway. So I've just made available rook f8. Okay, let's have a look. Knight d4, queen f2. King moves. Knight d4. Sorry, bishop d4. Queen Queen F two, Bishop D four, Queen D four. I'm winning the bishop at the end of this. Rook F A, I'm winning the bishop, I think. Knight D four, Queen F two. I think King H two there's Bishop E five, kicks the the thing back. Then once the king's on the first row, then Bishop D four, Queen D four, Queen D four, Rook D four, Rook F one. Uh, this might be a total miscalculation. And uh, there's also g3 to factor in, and there's knight takes e2. Let's just quickly check this. Rook f8, knight d4, queen takes f2. Now, if the king was on h1, bishop takes, queen takes, queen takes, rook takes, loose bishop, rook f1 check, king moves, rook takes b1. Okay, uh, just check this again. Rook f8, knight d4, queen f2, king h2, bishop e5. There's no g3. King goes to h1. Yeah, take takes rook f1 after. Okay, I think rook f8. <clears throat> after all that. Ah, oh, okay. Ah, oh. I put so much effort analyzing. Ah, oh, I don't know. Okay, um, and it's just ignored. Okay, one minute twenty-five. Knight d4, queen d4, or ed. Maybe ed is better for bishop e5. Actually, let's just get the queens off. It's got three times as much time as me. But the position looks very pleasant to play, potentially. Um.
29 seconds. I've got the two connected past pawns, so I think I can sack the bishop and have a winning ending here yeah, with the two connected past pawns. So Leela Chess teaching me about connected past pawns in end games recently. My new coach. Thanks for the game. That was a bit of a struggle, actually. <laughs> uh, thanks. Well played. Okay. Uh, right. Oh, Fromm's gamut could be fun. Uh, I hope. Um. <clears throat> This looks like bird against um, Steinitz. I haven't gone for the G5 line. So bird against Steinitz. Uh, I'm trying to remember. It was in an 18, it came in 1800s. Um, did he play bishop G4 or bishop F5? Not sure actually, but he did go for queen E7. He allowed double pawns on both sides of the board and got a good attack. That was Steinitz playing with black. Uh, structurally, uh, it's it's not so hot I think to take on f6 here even though structurally it looks terrible I think the dark square bishop could be a menace in this position Dennis the menace now do I, which rooks do I want to use This looks as though knight a5, queen a4 is dangerous. Potentially. Knight a5, queen a4. King casting there. There's also bishop f4 to factor in on e4. That's a nice pin to have, I think. Pin and win. Without a counterpart bishop as well. So here. Uh, I just need a rook left as well. At some point, a rook left could be handy. Bishop could pop back to h6 to maintain the pin. King could go to b1 now. Yeah, I'm not being a bit optimistic. <laughs> um. Queen a4 here, there's knight c5. So I just take that. Uh, maybe queen c6 is interesting. Let's have a look. Queen c6. Um, d5, rook d5. I'm just thinking about bishop d3 and rook e1. There's knights possessing e1. So queen c6, there's bishop b5 as well, and there's bishop e4. a6, there's, okay, there's bishop a6 or something. Uh, maybe c6 is prudent. Queen c6, bishop b5, bishop e4. Let's have a look at this again. I don't like this skewer. Okay, I don't like the skewer. So I think King A eight to get out of trouble with the king with bishop a sixes. Does this bishop want to go over there? It does stop rook c one. Bishop can reroute via f eight if needed. So king a eight queen c seven. That heals the pawns a little bit. Though I'm not sure 
Yeah. Um, could be worse here. Pawn down. Could be worse. Don't want to think about that too much. Protect. Oh, it's come on. I take on e4 as well, to consider at least. Bishop f7. Uh, oh, <sighs> maybe you see five or well, d six. Is that too dangerous? D six. Don't know. D six is it is prompting rookie four. <clears throat> okay, I can blockade here, Queen D six. A six, King A seven for B five. Potential B five. Okay, control B six. Rook B eight, B five. Looks like a plan to try and get on this B file. B five. So B5 or not to B5, that is the question. B5. B5 here. Or B6 forces open the B file. I think B6 forces open this B file. I've got my rooks ready to double. Bishop ready to participate with F5 later. A6 is an issue. B2 is now an issue though. F5 for bishop c3. Bishop c3, rook b2, rook b2, king c1. King's on c1. Queen b6. If I took an F five for a moment, there's rookie six. No, it takes rookie four. There's queen d five. If he plates with the bishop, then there's F five. Okay, maybe, maybe, under all the pawns. So F five. Bishop keeps on d five. Otherwise, queen d five maybe. So bishop goes back. Queen d five. Bishop goes to g two. Idea rookie six. Isn't there bishop c3, rook b1, picking up f1? Let's have a look at that. It's rookie six, bishop b2. So rook b1 check. Yeah. Bishop c3 here. Yeah. Bishop c3. Bishop was covering b1 before. Bishop b2. And this is anything better than bishop b2. And queen d7 hits the queen. And I end up losing a piece. Because he takes, takes here and then takes the bishop. Let's not do that. d6, rook d6. Rook b6, queen b6, rook b1, c4, then there's queen f2 after that. Let's say he does d6 there. Okay. Um. Maybe bishop d4. Rook B eight. That's getting a bit scary. Okay, let's not panic too much. Well, 
Also, A6 was a liability. Oh, crikey. I didn't even... Okay, now I've created that liability, but yeah. Um, queen A4 check, maybe. To get the queens off. Or Rook, Rook C4, let's go for an attack. It's all very scary for me as well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> is, uh, let's 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 analyze it with the computer. The computer's gonna uh, uh white's better there. Okay. Why is white better there? That's so unfair. Why why is white white better? Got the B file. Uh, equal after that. That is the recommended move, and then it says it's equal, so it's not making up its mind, is it? Equal, equal. Black is much better after this. I've clearly missed the move. Queen H8. Oh dear. <laughs> Queen H8. <laughs> Black's much better after Queen H8. <laughs> For the record, would that have solved the problems a little bit? I don't know. That's just a very brief analysis. What I played, still okay. I'm, there's a mate in four. A mate in two. Did I miss a mate in one? No, 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 no. Did I miss a mate in one? I did, didn't I? I missed the mate in one. Queen D2. Queen D2. <laughs> oh, I was, I was panic stricken because of all this attention on my B7. That's what caused panic. Uh, Queen D2. Let's rewind here. White was better here. This I thought it slipped a little bit because there's a dark square blockade. Evaluation slips a little bit. Well, until that, there's, maybe there's a better way. Queen c7 then. And if it takes. No, white is still much better. <laughs> there's no getting away from it. Okay, I thought I had a dark square blockade here. All right, all right. It was a fun one. Thanks. Uh, all right. I think I uh, hope you enjoyed this week. Uh, that was cool. And um, okay. So have a good rest of Sunday, and see you next week. See you next week. Thanks very much. Okay. Get those form pawns in your games. Check out my my Leela uh, videos for form pawns. The new modern attacking strategy. Okay, see you next time. Thanks so much.